Hi folks, Max here. Uh, the other day I was asked how to make an electro snare, uh, and I did a video about um, the ES2, um, which you might have seen, but if you haven't, um, basically I sort of thought about it afterwards and I figured that actually there are other ways to do it, and I thought I'd demonstrate some of those. So for ease of, of listening, this is what I've come up with. This is an ES, EX24 snare. This is a great snare because you can lower the volume and the snare. So that's why I think it's going to sound good. Okay. So I've got all the plugins up here. Now what this is 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 the EX24, which you can select down here. I go along here down to the EX24, which I've already done. And in the X24, you want to go to Factory, and if you can't see Factory, you will already see these. Drums and percussion, single percussion, snares. A lot of people don't know about these, but these are really great samples. There's a lot of acoustic snares and a lot of electro snares, which you can choose from. And the one I've chosen today is number 13, which on its own sounds like this. And like I said, the great thing about these snares is because you they're linked to the keyboard. If you increase or decrease the pitch, you get that. But that's just um, two octaves, C, um, a C high, and C below. Uh, these are really, really great uh, complementing snares. Um, so if you have another, like a drum kit, which you've already set up, maybe from the uh, Logic Loop Library, um, you can add these on top, on every other beat, maybe, every other snare, and they really fill it out. Um, so what I've done to this snare to make it uh, a bit fatter, I've got an enveloper. On this, I have taken some gain off the end. Um, so if you haven't listened without it, and well, there, and with it, pretty tentative as to what it's done. Uh, maybe more obvious down there. There you go, so you have listened to that, that's really long, that's a bit better. And you can add some attack to the front, give it more hit, that's not what I wanted to do, uh, by increasing this other game. After that I've added some overdrive, which we're going to go down here. If anyone wonders, uh, you see this little on, um, on button which the cursor is turning into. You can do that. I'm not sure what the shortcut is on a laptop. Actually, I do. It's Alt. So if you hold Alt, that's going to change into a nice uh, on button, and you can turn uh, plugins on and off just like that. So I'm going to turn on, um, I think I'll be on the overdrive. So what that's done is just giving it a bit more body. So without it, it's like that, with it, a little bit more pressure behind it now. Going back down here, I've got a compressor. I want to, because it's a snare drum, I want to leave um, the hit on the front of the side on the, of the snare drum coming through. So I've got the attack set to 50, because um, this allows the compressor, the snare drum time before the compressor starts acting on it. So the front bit will really come through and slap, um, and then it'll start acting. So if you have a look at the settings there, I've got 50, 3 to 1 ratio. It's a VCA, um, and I drag down. The preset is normally 4. And then with this, um, that's quite a lot of compression, actually. Um, oops. I want to have it around 6, I think. Okay, and the last thing I've got is a channel EQ. Just going to turn off. And I've taken off the bottom, I've taken off the top, and I've taken off a little bit. Really good trick with these, um, and I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it that well because the recording software I've got only records in mono. Um, 
if you create a new channel which is identical, drag it across. We've got two of the same files here. There they are. Uh, there they are. And what I'm going to do is in this top one, I'm going to mute or delete every second B. And in the bottom one, I'm going to delete in first, third, and fifth like that. On the second one, or on one of them, I like to do sort of uh, the second one, so every every fourth beat of the bar, I'm going to add something called sample delay. And all you have to do is it's in stereo, and you add a little delay to one side, and what it'll do is it complements another snare really, really well, because the first snare will come right down the middle, and the second snare will appear to come out of both speakers, um, slightly more to one side. Um, but uh, if you try that now, uh, you'll hear that. So in context, what does that sound like? It sounds like this. And some of you might recognise this song from the last tutorial I did. Uh, it's about easy to turn off, so... So that's how you create a snare using Logic, uh, the EX24. There are a lot of different snares and toms in there which you can use. Um, they all, all obviously royalty free, which is great. So just forget, don't remember, um, it is in drums and percussion, single drums. And there are lots of kicks here as well which you can use and sort of edit to your heart's content. As you can see, there you go, 67 electronic snares, and they all sound different. Um, when you're going through these, just remember, if you're playing a keyboard, um, play the right note. So that's D1 is where they reckon it should be, because everywhere apart from that, it's going to be bending it. So find D1 either on your keyboard, that's there for me, or go into the piano roll. As you can see here, it's got C1, so D1, that's there. So C D2 is going to sound different. So where they reckon it sounds good is D1. I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos, so if you like this one, subscribe. Um, my name's Max, and I hope you have a good day. Cheers, folks.